there was one question, what's the advantage of copying tasks from your, uh, from the agenda to a separate daily plan? The idea behind that is that I want to not be overwhelmed by seeing the agenda all the day. Because uh, if you talk, for example, with Carl, uh, the agendas tend to grow. They grow and grow and grow. So it's really a problem and I want to, to see it once in the morning and then I decide, okay, those are the 10 tasks I can do today. Hopefully I put them on my plan and then the agenda is gone, will no longer buffer me and I focus on what I have on my daily plan. I can share my screen quickly. So you see my really current daily plan for today. Saturday, 28th of November. This is all German. You see, I still have to do a weekly review for my sports club activities. I made the backup of my compu uh, computer this morning. Uh, this one, I wrote no time because I was taken away by the IMAX conf. It was so interesting. I said, okay, in the morning I thought, okay, I can do this. But now I see there is no time anymore. Maybe later in the night I will practice a bit guitar and keyboard and that's it. And I will read the book before I go to bed somewhere around midnight. And I'm already checked off uh, working at IMAX Conf. And you see, this is the, that was a project. And this was, I wanted to update my talk information page yesterday. Because uh, as you know, some of you know, I have a course on Udemy. And I put the bonus code on my uh, talk information page. So if somebody wants to take the course, it's on discount now until December 2nd. So do we have other questions? Somebody? Yeah, we still have a couple of minutes. Yeah. How long does it usually take to manage and maintain your agenda on a daily basis? It's, it's really five minutes a day. I mean, the, the thing is, I'm a uh, capture so whenever i have an idea i capture it it ends up in the capture org file and uh, my daily planning is really five minutes because i have a, um, a agenda view that says show me what's up for today what what did i schedule for the day what's this overview i make my daily plan and that's it and once a week for every of my hats, I have a, a, at the moment, I have a private hat and I have a, a sports club hat. I uh, schedule a weekly review that will take me with my checklist for around uh, half an hour up to an hour. And then I do everything. What version of Emacs do I use? Well, let me see in my uh, IMAX. About IMAX, it's the 25.3.1. It comes with my Linux distribution and also the org mode versions that I, no, let me see here, come on. The org version that I'm using here is quite old, I'm afraid, because there was no need to update it. It's 9.1.5, I know there is 9.3 out. I used it in my course because I made another user account just for the course, but that's, uh, for me, this works as well. Do you keep Emacs open all the day or when you just need? No, I keep it open all the day. I have the two monitors set up. So on my right monitor, there is IMAX. OK, not in full screen. It's just down to a window. I can show you. I have a window with, with IMAX open always there. So when I want to see what's still on my plan, what do I need to do, I just have to look right and I see what I want to do. What do we else do we have? Where do you know tasks and after you complete them? Uh, I archive them. When I'm in the weekly review, I have a checkpoint that says, okay, look at all finished tasks. I have an agenda view that shows me all finished tasks. And then the finished tasks, I mark them and they say archive them. So I have still everything available because I was using the same system in my job. And I was doing support, customer support. And usually support questions tend to rise again and again and again in the future. So if you have your uh, tasks well documented and I do the quick notes 
for every progress of a problem uh, analysis, then two years from now, you can just look in your old uh, archive files and find the problem again, and you see what did I do two years ago to solve it. So that's that's really uh, very efficient. And I was I was well known in my company to be the guy that can dig out five year old things. Okay. Um, how I how think did we're you ask questions on the live stream? Yeah. Uh, okay. Then I answer them in the Etherpad. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, okay. I'm not out of Thanks, time, not out of questions. Okay. Um, yeah. But thank you again so much for your talk and for yeah. doing the live Q and A. Yeah. Okay. Thanks a lot. Cheers. So cheers.